Hello, this is our simple vacuum cleaner project that we have made out of uh, simple materials, easily available materials. We have got thermocol pieces ready which are going to be uh, sucked inside into this pipe and then this chamber, uh, suction chamber and then at the bottom we have the dust collector chamber or the waste collector chamber. So you can see it's empty right now and uh, it's going to be filled with thermocol pieces now. So let me just give you a quick demo of the project. This is our status LED which is glowing and we are going to get in all this thermocol inside the vacuum cleaner now. Yes, this is how it uh, gets in through the pipe into the uh, this is our chamber or suction chamber you can see mm, at the bottom it will go through this suction chamber in this bottom chamber or the dust collection chamber if I yeah, could show you this this as you can see it has come out the dust or the thermocol pieces have come out and few are inside yes you can see so going into the project this is a rectangular arrangement just to keep the batteries in place then inside you can see this is a bisleri bottle that we have used and that is a motor DC motor at the center bottom center and then it's rotating right now and a fan is fixed to it which is rotating that is a cardboard fan when I switch on and this these are our batteries four batteries we have used a size if you can see it's a size battery so it's very simple to power the circuit power the motor on both sides we have both are driving the motor this is our LED which is glowing and this is our switch okay so this is a backup switch which uh, in case if there is any problem with the main switch we have this backup switch which works then we have this bottle water bottle and that fan if you can see when it rotates below the fan we have a small outlet cut outlets a rectangular outlet which actually gets all the dust outside the bottle into this chamber yes so can see these batteries are placed in parallel to make sure we get three volts at any time that makes two sources two three volt sources I hope this was easy this let me just keep it in uh, yeah So this is the circuit diagram of a vacuum cleaner. It's very very simple. You have two A size batteries here and then you have a push button switch. You have an LED, 1.5 volt LED. It can be red color and then you have a cardboard fan that I have prepared. Even you can uh, copy a normal fan and make the shape of a fan, any fan that you uh, can think of. And then uh, this is a DC motor and then here you have a rectangular cut outlet or arrangement which will let out the air that comes inside from the pipe and then you can easily send all the air outside so that it, it uh, sends the dust also along with it S and uh, what else yeah push buttons which actually I have kept on the on top of the project uh, and I have shown it here so I hope you understand how it's done <coughs> and then uh, LED is in parallel exactly in parallel with the motor so that whenever I s switch on my circuit my motor and my LED both switch on together so those two should be in parallel that's why I've connected one end of the LED to one side of the motor and other end of the LED to other side of the motor so till we press this push button switch both will be off Okay. So here I've used two uh, sources or sorry not uh, two sources one source with the two batteries 
so this is one uh, we can consider this as one single source and I can I'll show you one more picture in which I'll, I have connected two sources so here you can see there are two sources this it's the same concept but we have connected one more source in parallel to the previous source that's it nothing much it will just increase the uh, current in the circuit and it will boost the uh, speed of your fan but it will not increase the voltage because we are in parallel and in parallel voltages are always the same so that's about it and here you can see the air going out of the rectangular arrangement and uh, please keep in mind that the mm, direction in which your motor rotates or your fan rotates is very very important because in only in one direction it will suck in the air and in the opposite direction it will actually send back the air so be careful well while connecting your motor to the supply that's positive or negative okay you can just change the polarities and see how it works then the rectangular arrangement should be exactly below the fan that you have made and the circuit is really very simple